Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. I know it's June. I know it seems a little odd. This is the best time of year to actually be sourcing for Halloween goods. We make a ton of money on Halloween stuff. I actually produce our own Halloween items, including postcards and prints these days. So it is an area that I center in on all the time. Now is the best time to run into this stuff. You're going to run into them at garage sales, flea markets, estate sales. They're going to be clearing this stuff out. The closer you get to Halloween, the less chance you have on finding it as well as the higher the price will be so now is the time to find it you've already missed the big rush for 4th of July we've sold almost all of our 4th of July postcards and 4th of July items and collectibles already within the last say 40 days or so so you really want everything up a couple months ahead of time but let's head over right now and let's show you some key items you should be looking for so here's Vintage Halloween. I know it covers a wide range of items, toys, decorations, costumes, postcards, paper, even records, music, videos, video games. All of those categories are covered by Halloween items. So this is a vintage celluloid. Viscoloid is what they've described it as. It's just another word for celluloid and the type of celluloid that it is. This is an early one. Some of these are rattles, some of these will be candy containers, some of them will be toys. This one has 40 bids, almost $3,000. Rather unique. Many of these won't even be marked. Now you see a 25 on the bottom. That's probably what this costs, 25 cents. So anyway, let's move on to the next one here. Now pressed paper, die cut and pressed paper goes extremely well. A lot of them will say Bavaria or Germany on them. Those are usually the ones that you will make more money on. Real good example here, $2,376. Looking up at a close up here, you can see that it's just pressed embossed paper. Just pressed out of a mold basically back in the day and then stamped with the actual coloring on it. People recreate these too, so you gotta be careful. 30 bids on this one. Halloween in general is one of the best holidays. Halloween and Christmas usually will get you the most money in my book. And they, again, costumes is a perfect example. This is Nosferatu. Now you should know that. That's a classic German movie from the 20s, I do believe. Silent, black and white, $1,950. What's good about this one is this is a Don Post version. Look up Don Post. Don Post has some very elaborate latex style costumes and masks like this and they all go for a ton of money we're going to touch on a lot of these topics separately in separate videos on just makers and things along that line as we get closer i'm going to start covering christmas because again not only is it a good time to buy halloween items right now but it's an awesome time to buy christmas decorations as well don't wait till all the garage sales and flea markets are already done and drying up. Now is the time. They'll be dirt cheap now. This is when you buy most of this stuff. You don't buy them in season. You buy everything you can out of season. This one's $1,950 with the hands. A lot of these were advertised in the back of comic books and things like that. You actually had to order the hands separately, if I do remember right. I do remember some of these masks. Don Post, of course I remember. Next one here is a group of postcards. This is by Gibson. It's the style of the cards that make these worth the money. Gibson's a fairly common name. These ones sold with a bin, best offer for $2,000. It's seven postcards. So postcards are the bomb. It's one reason I do sell postcards. Here's a set of 11 postcards, unknown maker. Uh, I bring this one up because I just listed this one on the right, the spirit of Halloween. It's like a $130 postcard on its own. There's a whole set of these. You can type in postcards. We will cover just Halloween postcards very shortly. So if you want to see some interesting ones, I've got some very good ones. I've been saving examples for years. We're going to look at some high dollar postcards as well coming up. Let's move on to the next one. That last one went for $3,000 as well. Now here is a jack-o'-lantern. They make cats and things. Black cats are like the most common one you can get. What you want the most though are oddball ones, ones that may not look like they're Halloween related or creepy ones, devils, um, all that kind of stuff is what you're going to really want to find. $1,862 because of the subject on this. 
Now the cat ones go for you know anywhere from say 20 to a couple hundred bucks, but these are the ones you really want. Again, we'll go into special details on lanterns and things along that line in general too, because it's a big, huge market. There's reproductions. There's companies that make ones that look identical nearly to the originals. Some have actually acquired old molds and are reproducing these as well. When some of the companies that originally did these went out of business, the molds were sold in many cases. Some still turn up. Next item here is a tin. This is a typical tin toy, but it's been painted with a Halloween motif on them. So you will find the same basic toy with other designs on it. This is an original, something you will not run into very often. Nine bids, $1,825. Next one here is a rosin. Now rosin or Rosbro are both the same company technically. Rosin is one of the brothers. Rosbro is the company itself when they formed with a couple of brothers. They made toys, um, candy containers. I've had many people question what the figures were in the past. A lot of those are rosin figures when people aren't sure in the early plastic. This one went for $1,444. I love the Halloween artwork. Again, I do create our own Halloween artwork. Here's another one of the pressed cardboard or paper ones. Again, German made, Bavaria possibly. These are typically what you will find. Let's see if we can look at the back again. Uh, this one actually has several pieces, as you can see, and a stand in the back, so it will stand up. Some were made to mount on the wall, and others were made to stand on a table. 29 bids, $1,300 on this one. Now, this is Beastly. This is a company that made these. This exact one is being reproduced right now, so you're going to have to be 100% careful on these type. This one's a really nice example. Again, there are reproductions of this one. I would not be able to tell a reproduction from a fake from a photo. You would actually have to look at them in person in my book. You just have to see the quality. Usually a loop on something like this will distinguish the reproductions because of the printing technology used back then versus now. Again, $1,500. Again, here's another one of the jack-o'-lanterns. The kids would have carried these. There would have been a candle in it. Very dangerous. These could have caught on fire any minute. It's just an oddball curiosity that they would have done this back then. But I guess technology being what it was, pressed paper was easy to make. 15 bids, $1,294. Now this is a candy container. Now a part of this would come opened and then candy would be inside of it. This one, it's the head. It would have been stuffed with candy. They did this for Christmas, for Easter, birthday ones. All kinds of holidays you can find these candy containers. Made of plastic, celluloid, composition. This one's a flocked cat. A lot of these type two that are figural are, are candy containers, if they're early enough. And many people might miss that aspect of them. Now here's two postcards. Now these don't show up very often at all. I've only run into these a few times in my life. $970. I believe there's about eight to this series as well. Another jack-o'-lantern. Now this one's got hair on the top, which is something you just don't see. It's a larger one. It's got a big nose, as you can see here. Now it has some damage. It's actually come apart because it's actually two pieces put together. These can be repaired fairly easily. Um, at least uh, by a professional if you're not up on repairing something. But either way, it's still sold for $937 with 13 bids. So again, you can repair some of these. Now this is two of them here. Uh, you can see the terrible condition. It does have some major issues. The reproductions are made identical to this. I mean, down to the T, it's, it looks identical to the reproduction. So you got to be careful. Condition on these is why these did not go for as much money. Again, these can be repaired. People will replace the accordion paper on the sides. They will touch it up. They will replace the actual placement and holder pieces of cardboard on the inside as well. So be careful on these. 820 bucks on these too. Now here's Rosbro. Again, Rosin is the same basic company of these. It just depends on the era on when it was actually made as to what the marking would be. This is a plastic toy. It sounds and feels a little like celluloid, but this is a little later, so it is not celluloid on these. It's an early plastic from what I remember on the ones that I have seen. 
$701. Now, Rosboro may have made celluloid pieces, but I do not believe this is one of them. Celluloid was much more fragile than the early plastic, and they couldn't have made a lot of the movable toys or toys that would have mounted springs like this one because the place where you'd mount the spring would snap off real easily. Now the next one here is a roly-poly, and again, as I said, I'm going to go into some of these areas on their own, um, not just in Halloween, but in general, like roly-polies and things along that line. So this one went for $650. Real nice example of an early celluloid, possibly, toy. Chances are that is what it is. This is kind of where the, the Weebles got their start. Now here's a Don Post mask set. Now I liked Halloween 3. I wasn't a big fan of the slasher movies, any of the other Halloweens in my book. They just weren't um, my, my taste, I guess. Now I liked the fantasy and the science fiction aspect of Halloween 3. Now these are reproductions of the Silver Shamrock masks that were shown in the movie. If you haven't seen Halloween 3, it's well worth the watch in my personal opinion. But anyway, $648 US dollars on this lot. Here's another interesting toy. This is a candy container as well. Uh, some of these, again, are composition. If you see composition, it's pressed paper mostly. Again, something opens up on this one. The head comes off. Maybe there would have been little tiny candies, and you would have just poured them out. Later on, the candy containers turn into plastic and then glass and things along that line as well. 17 bids, $598. Most of these aren't even very big. Here's a tin lithode toy with a wood handle. The larger these type of toys are, the more expensive they are. So if you find the small ones, some of those are very common, but these large hand type are worth a lot more money. It would have been something you would have held and shook in your hand. These go back to the 20s, as the, the title says here. Some of these are very hard to tell the actual age. I would say this one's probably 30s or 40s in my book. Maybe it's possibly the 20s, but it really doesn't look like it, at least by the finish. Here's some more candy containers now. That's what these would be, I would say, by the maker's mark and the whole works. The heads would come off on these, and candy would have been in the tube at the bottom. $571 on this one with 15 bids. Now here's paper. This is paper. This is my area that I just love. This is an invitation. One single invitation. $549. Now what I see a lot are people make a mistake and will find a box. A whole box of vintage invitations with Halloween invitations in them. And they will sell it as a box. Put 50 bucks, a couple hundred bucks on it. And not realize that a lot of these can go individually for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Paper is my area. Paper is my category. This is covered in my whole realm of things that I look for and do sell. Paper is the bomb, if you didn't know. Halloween paper is the best in some areas. Christmas as well. Victorian advertising. This is a really good one here. I would have definitely been interested. And if you see, they have a number five on this one. This person probably had at least five of these. They probably found the box and were smart enough to list them separately. So again, that's key on these. You cannot list these in a lot. Most of the Halloween items I would not sell in a lot. You make more money. Perfect example. It doesn't take long to realize how big of a score this was for this person. Now here is another little candy container. As we said, candy containers are great. Plastic or celluloid, one of the two. This is probably a smaller one the way it looks. Looks like it's missing the top of the lid. Most of these would have had a lid that would have sealed it shut, and that's how you would have bought it at the store as well. $482. This one has some damage. You can see a crack. Um, and that could actually be uh, just a cheap container. It was made that way. It's hard to tell without getting a little closer look at it. But either way, $482, 33 bids. And we're not near Halloween yet, so that just gives you an idea on the price. These will be much higher in September and in October. So again, now's the time to buy these. 455 bucks for this one here. Here's just one that I have. So again, these are really common in some examples. This cat is different from that. The more realistic cats are the ones that you want, like this one here. This one here, I might get 100 bucks, 115 bucks for it. That one, obviously, being more realistic, I would get 400 plus on it, as you see. 28 bids on it. It's the type of cat that that one is.
Another invitation here. Again, this could have shown up in a boxed lot. They could have had 10 of these, 20 of these, and then sold them individually 450 bucks. This could have been a $5,000 score if they got a box of 10 of these. So just keep that in mind when you see these. Don't sell them as a lot. Do not do that with paper until you know for sure what the value is on them. Another one, this is a bobblehead. This is a super rare one, I would say, without a doubt. Composition, uh, fragile, they didn't last. This type of material, these really creepy ones, weren't made as much back then. They didn't sell, they didn't have as big of a market. Nowadays, you know, this is something that you want. $750 on this. Now here's another cocoa mold. This is basically like rosin or rosbros. Some of these are toys, as I said. This is a toy. No candy would have went in this. Just a cheapo five and dime store toy, $450. And the last one here is a mechanical tally card. Mechanical tally cards of any kind are very scarce. A tally card is something that you would have used to tally bridge, to actually keep score in a bridge game. And there would have been a boxed lot of these. There may have been 10, 20 tally cards. They wouldn't have all been the same design in most cases. Again, this person is the same gentleman who had the last one. He's got number four on this, so he probably has at least four of these tally cards. He could have went to an estate sale and bought boxes of these for a few bucks. Again, do not sell these in the original box the way they are. I would sell them each individually and then sell the box separately, empty, as it is. I will almost guarantee you, you will get more money doing that. But that's what I have for you with this today. Again, I'm going to cover some of these areas separately in more detail and give you a lot more information, history, and how to tell on some of these, whether it's an original or not. We will go into those in future videos. We are going to start covering Christmas really soon here within the next few weeks again because now is the best time to find Christmas. But that's what I have for you today. Well, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gives you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.